in a game like this, bad before with so many lead changes, I guess a record number of lead changes. Apparently. Um, just how much does the, how much is your confidence in these late game situations, in these clutch moments? How much does that help you come through in moments like that, as opposed to what? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, very confident. I think my my coaches and teammates they just they give me that confidence to go out there and you know be that guy to make them shots, make them plays. So um, <clears throat> credit to them. They, you know, you, when you have that feeling of everybody around you, you know, confident in you, you you get that extra confidence in yourself. So you know, I just appreciate I got them, you know, on my side and just gets gets me going. And so you give your twin a hug. And First, that was first win in Atlanta. Oh my God! <laughs> took six years. Took six years. Um, took me to get to the East. So I guess that's God's way of telling me, okay, you can't just play once a year. You gotta at least come here twice. So just so happy to get this dub. This the, that game here, last minute, out of bounds play, Jack Hall's play. What goes through that? Because obviously you said you guys worked on it in practice, but what goes through that play where? I guess you guys had recently worked on it, but what goes through that play and hopefully it executes for the first time trying it out? Yeah, um, yeah, just just trying to give me just trying to read the game. Um, I think I think uh, Spence and Royce talked about it a little bit because they saw what they were going to do, and Spence was one of the options hitting the post, and I was going to come to the top, but just reading the game and I they they saw it early, so they hit Spence in the post, and I'm like, okay. Everybody's thinking I'm going to go up top. I'm just going to back cut and just get go right to the rim. And, you know, Spence Royce, they, they peeped it. They felt that. And Spence made the pass. And it was a great execution. Just that, that was just great execution at the end of the game. And I guess you're not thinking about the first time you guys were here. That was just another back and forth. But just when it's tight like this, what, what kind of goes through your mind where you're able to just kind of, like, execute set on? Is it just being in those moments, as Jock always says, and being more comfortable? Or what, what's different about now compared to maybe when you first got to the next thing? Yeah, I think just being together more and having trust in each other and uh, just that camaraderie we have, and um, you just you just feel that everybody you like you want to be in the moments, you know, you want to be in them late game moments, and take a lot of pride in it. And you can see everybody's face, from the coaches, everybody on the bench to the five guys out there, like everybody's locked in and want to be in these tough situations. Like it's just you play basketball, growing up play basketball, you want to be in those situations where it comes down to the last possession, getting a stop, and scoring. So everybody just locked in and want to win. And, you know, that's all I care about. You know, that could have been my second point of the game if I hit that game winner. But I just want to come out here and get this win. Jack mentioned about how to like an overall team win and how it just took all nine guys. Um, when it comes to this game, as you just mentioned with Spencer and Royce, keeping it, putting out that play and communicating, how did you see just the level of communication um, evolve in this game? And then how important was it? Yeah, I mean, this just takes with time, you know. You you're around each other every day, and the more time you spend, the more you're comfortable where you could talk to each other <clears throat> and find little games within the game. And that's what it is. It's just, it's that's why it's always tough when teams be put together really fast because you gotta have that togetherness. You gotta know each other, and and that's what it was last year. It was tough because we just all got traded from different teams and different schemes and. We weren't together that long because even on the other days, like we're off and then we play. It's just like you got to learn through games, which is tough. But having like an off season, coming having preseason, and having these days throughout, we just keep building every day, and it's just great. I mean, we all close in that locker room, so that's what really helps as well. We're just really tight, and everybody like each other, and just go out there and try to play for one another. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying even earlier, just that's like our vocal leader, man. He's <clears throat> he want to win so bad, and I remember trying to get him this this summer to come to the Nets, and they kind of asked me about him, and I'm like, listen, I I've seen what he did. It's tough to be the top pick coming in to Dallas, and then have them years, and then. To kind of have to role change where then Luca comes in and he kind of 
now you're off the Mavs, and now you got to find your way back, try to find your niche. And then in Charlotte, just watching him play defense and make the right play. Like, I watched him play winning basketball on a team that wasn't winning. And I watched that throughout the – I was watching that when he, when, I was, when he was in Charlotte. And I was just watching that. I was just like, I know a winning player when I see one. And um, they asked me about him. I was like, hell yeah. Like, I, I played against him when, he, when I was in Brooklyn and he was in Charlotte. I just – he was talking. He was talking smack. He was talking. We was talking back and forth, and, and he was going. And I that when we dap each other up at the end of the game. So I'm like, okay, he's he's one of them guys. Like he's he gonna talk. He gonna get ready, but then show love after. So he's just that dog, man. And defensively, I mean, just putting guys in boxes that we do that, that we talk about. And then offensively, like man can create, score. Like he's just it's just great to have him. So I'm happy he's back.